Divine Feminines, welcome to my channel. I am Lady Day and this is the Healing Butterfly. This message is the WTF love reading, but this time around we're going to do it for the Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines versus um, your actual um, element sign or astrological signs. Um, uh, initially what I got from the Divine Feminines is a few different things, but it's not music, it's movies. So a lot of the Divine Feminines I feel like have moved in from uh, from probably wa listening to a lot of music to like watching movies that are kind of more in the um, in the lane of what they're feeling right now. Um, I did get I'm Every Woman. Um, I did get that particular song this morning. Um, and I also got um, uh, it's it's Whitney Houston. Uh, your love is my love because my love is your love. So there's something about wanting to find either that loving space or that girlfriend, girlfriend energy or sisterhood energy. Um, I also got the um, Waiting to Exhale when they were speaking, um, I, I forget, I think it was Gloria's birthday, and she was like, oh, I just miss when a man just used to flirt with you, when they actually took you on a date, when they actually, ugh, it's like, my gosh, I just want to, like, go back to when, you know, men actually courted a woman, and, you know, it was actually a thing, you know, you couldn't wait to get married, not get married to have sex, but to find someone to start a life with, like, you know, to see your parents, and maybe that's a, another thing that maybe a lot have not seen their parents grow old and happy together, I don't know, but um, it's just like, you know, wanting, I guess that has, that's, that's a gem that has been lost in the world today, is that we're not looking at um, marriage as something as, you know, um, life building and generational changing and the opportunity to um, make the life we didn't have as a child a real thing, like those dreams. Like it doesn't have to be the big mansion house. Like I have to be honest, for a lot of the divine feminines, it's just like, can I just have my house? Like, I don't need 16 rooms and 13 bathrooms, but I have a life that I wish for. I have a way of being loved that I deserve. And there's all of that just kind of uh, bubbling up to, I feel like, a lot of, you know. And we're also coming into Christmas time, so there may be something about Christmas movies or just about family movies or about love. Like, wanting to really live in that energy. So, let's get into the reading. Thank you all for stopping by. I didn't even open up with that because there's so much energy. Thank you for stopping by. I'm sending y'all so much love, light, and healing vibes. Um, thanks, thanks, thanks. Don't forget to hit the, <laughs> the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate all of you. So let's first start off with WTF is currently going on in the Divine Feminine. Yeah, to the city. Again, it's, I just feel it's an energy of self, self-love, self-care, you know, raising my vibrations, figuring out what didn't work. What do I really want? What do I really deserve? Um, how am I going to get there? What is the land that I'm in right now? Like, there's a lot of focus on self with the divine feminines right now. Okay. WTF should they do right now, spirit? What's their current action in regards to love? WTF should the divine feminines do right now when it comes to love? Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron higher power yep and but i feel like this is already and there goes that i'm not sure if you can see it maybe i'll turn this light off sorry you guys and it's kind of dark today it's a little gloomy um but higher power but if you can see there's a key right here that third eye area so there's again there's just the divine femmes right now maybe i do need to turn it back on it's a little too dark i'm sorry um the divine femmes right now are definitely getting um in their bag you get what i'm saying like Feeding to self, self-love, self-care, soul searching, what worked, what didn't, was this false, was this true, where was I wrong, where was I right, things of that nature. Um, and, and, I, and I do, I just have a feeling that it is a, a situation of the, surrendering to the divine right now. So right now, action is, again, right where I think you currently already are, which is with God or with your spirit team, however you do that. <laughs> WTF to avoid. So what? Mm, the fates shot right out. So maybe con trying to control the fate, maybe um, I'm hearing scenarios and plays, plays and scenarios. So I don't know if someone's trying to figure out how this is all going to unfold so that they can put themselves in the right position or something to that. But we'll get deeper into that. And then WTF, um, possible outcome. Wow, that came. Milk and honey. So get ready, honey. The rainbow. The pot at the end of the rainbow, right? This is some beautiful cards. There is clean it up at the bottom of the deck, though, so we'll get into that. 
clean up the never ending story thinking about some someone or something that's in all that glitter situation so if you divine femmes are holding on to something that has over time been the same cycle same shit same thing same outcome same 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 that's where spirit is asking you to clean up clean up that never ending story stop thinking that all that glitters is gold you are blessed and soon you will observe your blessings okay but there's definitely something in it that something can be anything okay um i say that a lot here because i hate to get into scenarios and then someone's like well that ain't my story you know <laughs> so clean up either the toxic behavior um I'm just her communication throat chopper. So some of you may not communicate well, or you're not sure how to communicate your feelings or you're shut off or closed off or something like that. So there's something that you do need to clean up. Okay. Divine fans. Let's just stop it. Okay. I'm, I'm about pulling someone's card. Even myself. I know for myself, I ain't going to sit here and have confessionals. Maybe we will have confessionals and then everybody will feel better about <laughs> the fact that we all have something to work on. As long as you, I'd say this to my friends and family, if you wait every day, you wake up, just know that God has a purpose and a lesson. Or you wouldn't have woke up. If you were done doing what you needed to do here in this realm or on this earth, God would have called you home. Okay? But there's something. And there it is. What did we say? All right. Okay. Let's get to the bottom of it now. Okay? Come on in. Come on in and have a seat. I got popcorn. I got a boom chicka pop if you would rather do it on the healthy side. I got some... Come on in. Okay? Because... <laughs> The thinking, the nine of swords, right? Over who? Your emperor. Because like I said, this situation, you're, that, what did they tell you to stop and to avoid? To trying to manipulate what's fated to happen the way, the way, thank you spirit, it's fated to happen. Stop trying to direct this boat. Um, God said, <laughs> uh, spirit says, I am the captain. I direct this thing. Trust me, I know how to avoid all icebergs and shipwrecks. I don't, it, okay, thank you. Because I was like, what are we talking about all this? that one um nautical <laughs> things for because you're out to sea you're in you might feel like you're in the middle of the sea you can't see well where the hell is my where's 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 the island that you promised me or the paradise that you promised me and you know i always say that on my channel where's paradise where's the milk and honey where's the land you were crossing me over the red sea right to get me to the land of milk and honey where's it at and some of you may just be getting very like testy <laughs> trying to i don't want to say that you're uh, manipulate okay thank you because they just put manipulation and put a big red and an x through it so it's not manipulating it's like you're trying to figure it out it's 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 beyond quantum physics it's beyond um what do they call it making rocket fuel this is not stop trying to figure it out divine fans stop trying to figure it out okay one more shuffle and then we'll get some clarifiers down on the board nine of pentacles i mean nine of pentacles is there so let's get that coins ladies so wtf is current is the out to, is the to the sea or card thank you spirit yeah <laughs> eight of wands so your ships whatever needs to come in will come in 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 divine timing okay There may also be some, okay, again, cleaning it up. There's too much going on in certain areas as well. So for for these for this to continue to move on, you do have some things you need to clean up. Maybe you work too much. Maybe you stress too much. Maybe there's something too much that needs to be addressed. There will be rapid, yes. Thank you, spirit. All right. Yes, you are working. You're working towards something that is so wonderful. But I've seen this, This I'm getting the same um energy I got before look at this man infatuated with this woman but she is toiling in a way at what she has going on right I have a and then we have 88 down here as well so you may be getting eights these uh here recently there is a thing of you needing to continue to work on what you are building and when the time is right love as well as the sun right and the ace of pentacles that's coming into you Please don't give up. Spirit is saying, please don't give up on, on believing it. Some of you are tired as hell, and I can see it. Like, people don't even understand how much you've been going. Oh, my God, I'm about to cry. Have, have, have been going through by yourself. You may be in a, a house full of people, but you always find that one space to just go and cry it out. Just know that you are being, you are seen, you are heard, you are felt, you are loved. God knows that you're going through something. 
right now you may have a lot going on too much to think about too much to do um so much so many people to support we got the holiday season just like all of this and they're asking you to slow yourself down and take care of yourself okay all right the sun is coming. Oh my gosh. A, a time of great joy. There it is at the bottom of the deck. The four of swords. Meditation. Relaxation. Rejuvenation. Um, uh, just taking care of self. Okay? It's coming. You can't work for it to come any quicker than what the higher power is going to give it to you. Okay? All right. WTF should they do right now? What is higher power? Thank you, spirit. King of Pentacles. Keep working on your funds compassionate and grounded having the Midas touch a good person to work for or to work with so if you're looking for a new job you're looking for a new position you're looking for a new company or you want to start your own just know that you are getting yourself there and God is guiding it okay go further into the spirit I have a card here divine soul Holy spirit the princess of cups yeah you may be a little moody um Going through this, new emotional experiences is what's popping out for me. Yeah, five of cups. So you may have exactly maybe a little moody about what didn't happen or why it didn't happen yet or where am I at right now. But there is something about being sensitive with yourself. OK, being, I'm sorry, being um, pa <laughs> patient with yourself because you're sensitive at this time. Let's get it right. Um, you're you may be in a land of being of inexperience as well. Inexperience. In the matters of love, in the matters of career, whatever's going on kind of has you a little topsy-turvy because you're taking on newness, okay? But it's a beautiful thing. Don't focus on the negative part of the emotions, though, okay? Continue to experience those things. You've Again, you're inexperienced in something, okay? Um, a new way of thinking, a new way of loving on yourself, a new way of talking to yourself, something to that nature. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone who stays focused. Maybe, and there could be, a, I'm sure there's a passionate relationship because this is supposed to, this is a love reading. Um, I feel like when the time is right, it'll come in for you. We just, we just talked about that. Passionate and confident. I truly do believe spirit is asking you to remain passionate and there goes letting go of that. What did I say? Letting go of that ego. You're inexperienced in certain things and certain emotions. You're, you have to balance that out. This is the first time I've ever really had someone love me. This is the first time I've ever really, you know, allowed someone to get that close. And maybe that person got that close and then they ran, right? Maybe you're in a twin flame twin flame union. Um, you still have to let go of that ego. You still have, and it, this also says accepting responsibility for the things that you've had going on as well. So it's definitely time for you to engage in the, in the things that you find yourself being wrong about, right? engaging in making changes to that behavior um but also standing firm and knowing that your your foundation and your stability and your money will be right keep that passion going though thank you spirit while wow, these cards are popping yeah the, yeah you're in a, you're in a student yeah thank you princess of um coins um you're in a student type prince okay you have two princesses here um which is kind of like the um not the night. Sorry, not the night. I can't. The the page. You're kind of in like a page, a princess um, kind of energy right now. You know, when it comes to really getting and solidifying whatever it is that you're doing for your for your business, for your job, for your career, for your emotions. You're in a new space of emotions. You're in a new space of managing your money, of of going after career um, endeavors, things of that nature. Spirit is guiding you in this manner. Don't let the passion that's bubbling up under you for the life that you really see yourself. I mean, something about a lifestyle that you see yourself living. Keep going forward. You may feel like I'm not um, well versed enough. I don't have enough experience. I haven't, you know, I haven't gone back to school for that. Take on that challenge. Spirit is asking you. It'll end up, I'm telling you, it's going to be your perfect match. It's going to be your perfect match. Something about, right now, I feel like this is very heavily about your career and your money and your stability. It's going to be a perfect match. Okay. And then what to avoid or stop? What is the fates here, spirit? Yeah. Worrying about what's fated to happen, the ten of wands. So you're worried. You're worried. You're working too hard on trying to figure this thing out. Just let the fates do what they do. Let God do what he does. What is the fates? What is the ten of wands? Go further into the spirit. The fates. Yeah, there it is. When time is when time is right, you'll set out on that new journey. 
okay? When time is right. Another card here. What is the fate spirit? What is the fates? Okay. Only true jumpers. Thank you. An advanced spirit. What is the fates? Thank you. Wow. Two of them, too. Yeah, the high priestess. Meditate and turn inward, right? The high priestess is she, what they call she who knows or has the information. Your intuitive gifts have let you know that this is something that is fated. Okay, thank you, spirit. We also have the, um, the prince of wands or the page of wands. So I have to be honest, what I have here is that I do think that, that some of you are very overworked, overburdened in your mind, right, about this situation because you knew that you were supposed to set out on a new journey or connection with someone who has a higher purpose or a higher um, connection, soul connection, twin flame connection, that you and someone else were supposed to come in and really raise the vibration, right? You were supposed to start this brand new life. You were supposed to break generational curse. You're supposed to do so many amazing things together. And yet, maybe when it came in, um, it came in hot and heavy and, and fizzled and or the, the, the end to this, okay, how can I say this? Give it, give me, give it to me right spirit. Give it to me right. You only experience like the page level of this, of this situation is what I'm getting. This is, this is just like, okay, before you get to, how can I explain it? Shit. Sorry, y'all. What you've experienced was only a spark to the flame that has yet to really happen here. What you got was kind of an, it was like, oh, this is like an appetizer, or like, what do they call it? Like the, the before dinner, not an appetizer, but like before the, the wedding dinner, they have like that little cocktail hour. Like, I feel like you and your person had a cocktail hour that sparked something that is still yet to really bloom and start the right way. But yet, yeah, justice and the world. Justice will, okay, so whatever is, have you and your person disconnected, okay, whatever it is, God's all over it, okay, stop thinking about why haven't we set out, why haven't we come into union, why haven't we had this new, why hasn't this spark continued or, or gone beyond that, that's because whatever's going on is fated to go on just the way it's going on, people have free will, and in that free will, God has to then make each person, sorry, mold, thank you, mold each person to the, to the, who they need to be to come into union. So it's fated to happen this way. Even if you're where you need to be and molded and shaped to where God, thank you, God. You are where you need to be. Most of these divine feminines that I'm channeling, you are where you need to be. You're molding yourself. You're giving yourself self-love. You're putting, and you might be saying, well, what the hell? That's because right now the higher power lane is you. God's taking care of this. This is why this is the avoid lane. Stop trying to manipulate and, and change and and. Figure this thing out. We're just asking you to take care of what's going on in you. Taking care of your emotions, taking care of your money, taking care of your passion for life. That's it. Let us do what we do best. They know what's favorite. They know that somebody wasn't treated right or something didn't happen right. They have it. I, and why did somebody, somebody just either said you got mail or I kind of heard like, I heard you got mail in the shoosh when you get mail. <laughs> they have it. They have all of your prayers. They have all of your tears. I'm, I'm hearing tissues pillows of tissues filled with tears we they they understand where you're at and even if you're not crying from your eyes your soul could be crying okay and if they, they hear you feel you and know the outcome is milk and honey spirit possible three months down the line yeah ego the illusion of being trapped and accepting responsibility right the six of swords moving on to calmer better times we already talked about that too so again make sure that you are um understanding you know we're not always and i'm a divine feminine we're not always right we want to be right all the time does it sound nice <laughs> but and sometimes we want to be right because we want our point okay thank you spirit because you want your point to be heard it's not necessarily like that you want to be right it's kind of one of those things there goes the six of cups at the bottom of the deck um so a past life soulmate but you not that i need to be right but i want to be heard i want to be understood and i want to be i want to be respected i want my my point of view to also be respected so there's something in that uh, go further. Milk and honey spirit. Milk and honey. Um, you may resonate with birds as well. Not necessarily swans, but birds to some. Uh, you may have a, a bird um, that follows you or birds show up when, you, when you're feeling down or something like that. Those are your spirit guides. Thank you. 
Yeah, the bottom. It, it, yeah, this is definitely something about moving, moving forward. I got to be honest. Um, the Seven of Cups talks about illusions. Um, you know, a choice needing to be made. Seven of Wands. Um, sorry, Seven of Cups. Seven of Wands is about standing your ground. And then we also have the Eight. So you have Eight, Eight, Eight on the board. You have Seventy Seven on the board as well. And it's the time to move on because it's time for victory and success. Somebody else is in the hermit, right? I got to be honest. I think this is you needing to move on, you know, move on with your life. Don't stay stagnant trying to figure out this faded lane because it may not come around in this in this particular, let's say, winter season. Who knows? That's what spirit wants you to let go. You just need to keep moving on and staying, standing true to yourself, okay? I do feel very strongly that this hermit, ten of swords, awakening, ten of pentacles, um... Yeah, so someone did go within and knew that they were supposed to end a situation, but then they had the, the, they went into, yeah, the hanged man about their ten of pentacles and decided maybe to move on to somewhere else, but justice is being served because they maybe have given that, that love, that time and attention to someone else, okay? So spirit is just asking you to stay focused on you. And that someone or something else, again, could be anything. I'm not going to I'm going to stop doing so many scenarios because I don't want people to get caught up in. That's not my story. It could be work. It could be family. It could be a lover. It could be friends. It could be anything that someone is, is all wrapped up in. And in order for you to get the land of milk and honey, all spirit is asking you is to get let let go of this ego that you know what this should have been or could have been. OK, move on to calmer times in your mind, in your body and in your spirit. Stop giving yourself illusions of when and how something's going to unfold. Stand your ground to the truth that is you right now and move forward. Plan that business. Move to that new home. Move to that new state. Move to that new country. Take on that new job. Take on that new whatever. Let's go. Let's move. OK. Yes. Oh, no. OK. Thank you, spirit. We're just going to do these. All right. So let's get some um, additional clarifiers when it comes to this spread here today. And then we'll end with some angel guidance, okay? And thank you all again for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if the reading resonates. If not, click on another reading. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> for the Divine Feminine Spirit. For the Divine Feminines, thank you. For the Divine Feminine Spirit. All right. Just make sure nothing flew. Uh, one moment. S as in Sam, V as in victory, initials of your name or them. U as in umbrella, X as in x-ray, Y as in yellow. Initials. The month of April. The month of November just passed. The month of September. The month of October. We have the third eye and the throat chakra and the crown. Speak your truth. Make sure you're seeing from a higher perspective through God's eyes. And make sure you're tapping into your higher self and intuition. Okay. C as in Charlie or F as in Frank. 39 to 55 years old. <laughs> N as in Nancy, Q as in Queen, the month of February, which is right around the corner. Ask more questions. Maybe you need to ask more questions in February because it's time for a change. Tick tock. Then we already just talked about that. Please don't stop it and sat down. So whatever it is you're trying to manipulate or trying to run towards, I got to be honest, and I don't feel like this is personal Growth. I'm feeling like if you're trying to manipulate the love connection that you have, please don't stop it and sat down. Spirit is already on it, okay? Speak up. Speak your truth. So we already talked about with the throat chakra, sacral chakra, so the feminine energy. No, 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 no. So again, there's something that you're not supposed to be running to do. And we have B as in baby or E as in Edward. All right. Let's get you a message from your angel guides. I just heard even from miles apart I can bring I can bring things together so if 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 that's another thing it's like oh if I move or if they move or if someone moves or if someone 
does something, how am I going to get him back? It's like, God can do anything. <laughs> God can do anything. But, wow, this acceptance has been everywhere, baby. Accept the situation for what it is, okay? Acceptance at the bottom of the deck. And the card that we have is, what do you desire? It's a strong, a strong question. Meditate on that. I want every divine, I want every person that is watching this to take time to really think about what you desire. Spirit is, is challenging you right now that to write, maybe to write it out, to think it out, to speak it out. Maybe give yourself even a, a, a verbal note on your phone about what do you really desire? What does that really look like? Really think about that question. Not, oh, I, I'm happy and I know. No, 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 no. Is it three bedrooms? Is it four bedrooms? Is it near the mountains? Is it in the city? Is it a high rise? Is it a country style home? Um, is it an Audi? Is it a Tesla? Um, are we in Mexico? Are we in Colorado? Uh, is your ring four carats, two carats? Is it three kids, four kids? Is it a, a Fendi Chanel type life? Or is it a Abercrombie and Fitch and, and Air Apostle side. Like, there's so many levels and details that I don't think that a lot of us are thinking about. Um, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. So again, you may have a very broad, I just want to be happy and I just want joy. And that's beautiful. But God really wants to know if you had to plan this out. If I gave you my pen to create, what would you create? What would your life look like? Ask yourselves this, Divine Femmes. Because whatever was going on in your, in your love life, God has made it very clear that you need to just allow it to be. Cleanse your energy and allow it to be. So I hope that this was able to give you some insight and intuition into your life. Thank you so very much for stopping by. I truly appreciate if you could hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, become a part of the Butterfly family. Um, and if you're looking to uh, connect with me in any other ways, you can reach me on Instagram or my email address below. Thank you all for stopping by. Sending you peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise to you and your loved ones. Namaste.